Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can download and install the current Eclipse version. For Eclipse, we need Java. So at first, we will download and install Java. Then we will install Eclipse. So let's see. We will see how we can easily download and install the current Java version. So let's start. Go to the browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any browser. Here in type Oracle Java. Press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible. Click on it. We have reached the official Oracle website for Java. Directly click on download Java to download it. We have reached the downloads page. Go below. The current version is 18.0.2 Java JDK. Let's download it. Let's download the exe file. Go below. We want for Windows, so I'll click here. And we want the installer file that is x64. Remember that we don't need JRE now. To work with Java, we only need to install JDK. Click on download here for x64 installer. Now the download will start. It's only 153 MB. Let's wait for a few seconds. We have downloaded it. Double click on it to install. Minimize this. Here it is, guys. 18.0.2 installation. Click on next. It will get installed under the following location. You can also change the location, but I'll keep the default. Click on next. Now the installation started. So the installation is complete. Click on close. So we successfully installed Java. Now we will set the path. Let's see wherein we installed Java. Go to C drive. If you remember, we installed it under program files. Here it is. Here is the path wherein we installed. And here is the bin path. Copy this bin path. That's it. Minimize. Go to start. Type environment variables. Here in click on edit the system environment variables. Okay. I'll click on open here. Here are the environment variables. Click on it. Environment variables. Now here is the path visible for system variables. Here it is. The path. Double click on it. Now we need to set the path which we copied. So click on new and right click and paste the same path. Here it is the JDK bin path. Click on OK. Click on OK and the last OK. Now we have successfully installed Java. Verify it. Go to start. Type CMD. Click on open to open the command prompt. Now here it is. I'll type Java space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. Here it is Java 18.0.2. That means we successfully installed Java current version. I'll close it. Now let us see how to download and install the current Eclipse version. Go to the browser. Type Eclipse. Press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible eclipse.org. You can click on it. Now the official website is visible. It will directly take you to the downloads page. Now let's see the current version. Current version is Eclipse ID 2022-06 and it is available for 64 bit. Click on download. So this works for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now I'll, now I'll directly click on download to download. So the download started. It's only 114 MB. Let's wait. So guys, we have downloaded the exe file of Eclipse. Double click on it. Minimize this. Now here you can see different Eclipse versions are visible for Java. For Enterprise Java, C, C++, Embedded C++, PHP. Okay, but we want for Java. So I'll directly click on Eclipse ID for Java developers. Now here you can see I told you Java is a must before installing Eclipse. So it automatically took the Java path which we just installed 18.0.2. Okay, it took the same path. That's it. And our Eclipse will get installed in the following location. Okay, you can change the name or you can change the installation folder, but I'll keep the same. Rest keep as it is. Start menu entry and desktop shortcut. Now I'll click on install. Agreement, you can read it. Click on accept now. Now the installation started. Let's wait.
Here and you can see it is asking do you trust the unsigned content? Always trust all content. Select it. Yes, I accept the risk. Click on trust selected. We have successfully installed Eclipse. You can see here it will directly launch after clicking launch here. You can also click on the shortcut. So let me directly click launch. So here is the workspace. So workspace is a place wherein wherein your Eclipse folders, files, projects, plugins will get saved. You can keep the default and select it so that you don't need to select it again and again. So here in all your projects will be saved. You can copy it if you want. Click on launch. So here it is guys our Eclipse ID. Now I'll directly click on file to create a new project. Click on new. Let me directly click Java project. Let me add a name Amit. Amit application. Location is the following. If you remember Eclipse workspace wherein our project will get saved. So that is the same location and it automatically entered our project there. So the project file will be here. We will see this later. Execution environment it automatically took it in. You can go for project specific that is the following we installed right now. I will go for the project specific. Rest keep the same and click on next. Click on finish. Now our project will get created. You can uh, don't create leave it because we are creating a simple application. So click on so cancel this and our project is visible. Okay. Now right click new create a new class file. Let me name it demo. I'll add public static also and I'll leave this. It's a demo application. Click on finish. Now here it is. Here is a demo.java file under under Amit application project. Now I'll remove this and add a few lines. So I'm printing a line. Let's say I'll leave it as it is and I'll click on file save as save all. Now to run it I can directly go to here and the project and I'll click on run as Java application the same click on it. Now here it is our output is visible. Here it is this is what we printed. Now let us see the path of our project. So it was on the C drive users HP and here in and here in search for Eclipse here in you can see Eclipse workspace this was our place wherein we created our Eclipse and I told you all the projects will go inside it so here it is our project is here here is our demo.java file same okay the same file so guys in this video we saw how we can easily download and install the current Eclipse version we also installed the current Java version thank you for watching the video